We've got competing bills to allow wine importation in Utah and a new bill that makes a lot of changes to alcohol policy. And we're trying to preserve the rough balance that we have in our state uh, between allowing responsible adults to drink and putting control safeguards in place. Alcohol bills are an annual affair in the Utah State Legislature. Representative Timothy Hawks has introduced a massive bill that makes a number of changes. Among them, Utah's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control gets more power to regulate licenses. Sports arenas get their own liquor license. Bar licenses will be able to transfer around the state, but there won't be more of them. Most of, I think from a policy standpoint, from a control standpoint, we really don't want to be increasing the number of bar licenses. That is where we get a lot of our problems when it comes to DUIs and, and, uh, and overuse, overservice. Stores will no longer be able to advertise. They have stronger booze. That was something we saw when Utah ditched 3-2 beer for heavier brews. We really don't want people hyping, this is stronger, you know. You'll get drunk faster with this. We just don't want that. When a police officer stops someone for DUI, they can ask where the person was drinking and are required to document that. It helps the state know if bars or restaurants are over-serving. The vast majority of actors out there are responsible, credible, good actors. We have a few bad apples, but we want to know where the bad apples are at. It's the latest bill to deal with alcohol. There's a lot of laws in the state of Utah that uh, people who move here don't understand. But it's, a lot of it is part of our culture. Our culture is changing, and I think this is one way of addressing those issues. A Senate committee unanimously passed Senator Gene Davis's bill to allow for Wine of the Month clubs in Utah, but only if they go through the DABC. It's not exactly direct to consumer, which is what consumers want. Um, and there are some issues with having a subscription program. But again, um, with Utah being challenging with alcoholic bills, then uh, this again is kind of a baby step in the right direction. And there's another bill that would allow Wine of the Month clubs, but with the state's mandatory cost plus 88% markup, that bill is being heard in a House committee this afternoon. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.